All right, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna be reacting to Tekken 8 Lars Alexanderson gameplay trailer. So personally, I'm really excited about this one because Lars has always been one of my favorite characters in Tekken. His character design overall from his appearance, his fighting style, everything about him just screams like anime to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I, th I think you guys know what I'm saying, but overall, I've always liked Lars and something tells me that with Tekken 8's new aggressive system, Lars is going to be really good in this game. That's just a suspicion that I have. We might get a taste of that in this trailer, so let's just go ahead and watch it and see what Lars is all about. The Line of the Rebellion, that's a sick title, dude. The announcer is so sick, dude. I like her voice. Lars looks great, by the way. The graphics, oh, dang. Oh, he has a bunch of new stuff. Orbital Heal, oh. Yo, I like the effects that Lars has. It's all lightning. Alright, here he goes in this heat. Oh, that's sick, dude. Yo, did you see that? He's like lightning now. I, I like that they're embracing this, dude. Alright, here comes Rageheart. Holy moly, is that freaking... Did he just go full Chidori or Rasengan on Kazuya? Lars looks great. Oh man, oh, he looks so good. I think I'm a Lars main now. Honestly, I think I'm a Lars main because the way things are going... All of my main characters are up in the air of being in Tekken 8. You know, I got Katarina and I got Christy. Two characters who we don't know if they're going to be in the game, but I got to start finding a new main just in case. And I think Lars is a candidate 100%. But dang, dude, I like what I saw, dude. Let me go ahead and watch this again in slow-mo. Well, not really slow-mo, but let me just go ahead and kind of like analyze a few things here and there. Let's see. First of all, the graphics look pretty good. Like, I think I say this every reaction video, but he looks tight. Look at that entrance, dude. Well, I guess we know who the next trailer is going to be. You know, they're showcasing Jack 8 as Lars' opponent here, so Jack 8 is going to be next. And they're going to end it with June. I think that is safe to say. So, one thing I do notice already is that he looks like he has potentially better lows out of his stances. So one thing about Lars is that, at least from my personal experience, Lars doesn't necessarily have threatening lows, not too much. He has some good ones, but they come with big risks. But from what I'm seeing now, it looks like he might have more lows that are more viable, I think. Um, and as you know, I'm an expert Lars player, so I'm definitely going to know every stance, every, everything about him from this trailer. I like what happened right there, it's pretty cool. So I think, I definitely think that Lars is gonna be one of the best characters, not, well, I might be jumping the gun here, but I think that Lars is gonna be really good in this game, in Tekken 8 for sure. I think the whole aggressive system definitely fits his style. Even now in Tekken uh, Tag 2, Tekken, Six Lars was pretty beefy in terms of rushdown. Tekken 7, he's kind of like, he's still, you know, I think he's still a solid character, but definitely not like his glory days from Tekken, uh, Tekken 6 and, and Tekken Tag 2 for sure. But I'm liking everything I'm seeing so far. 
It looks like his wall combos are going to be pretty good as well. Especially with the new uh, stage hazards as well. One thing I do like that I'm seeing in this trailer is that it seems like wall carry has been nerfed. And that's something that is a good thing, I think. Because currently as it stands in Tekken 7, basically every character in the game can get a wall carry from a low parry. And I think that's pretty messed up. Honestly, that shouldn't be a thing. And Lars, as we know, excels at wall carry. But from what we're seeing here, I mean, just take this clip for example. It looks like Lars begins his combo um, from... It looks like this is the end of the stage, from one side of the stage, right? So he begins his combo. Tailspin, right? Heat. Bound. He continues the combo into the ender. And it's nowhere near the end of the stage. And this is Lars we're talking about. That's a sick move, by the way. So it looks like wall carry is being nerfed in this game. Uh, we gotta wait to see real gameplay. I know that's coming up at EVO Japan. But it definitely seems like it is getting nerfed, which I think is going to be something that has to be done. And that makes sense if they are going with the whole aggressive system in Tekken 8. Now his Rage Art especially looks really cool. They're just embracing this whole Power of Lightning thing with Lars, which I think is really great. So here goes with Rage Art. His Rage Art is straight up anime. It reminds me of a Chidori or... Rasengan from Naruto. That's what it looks like. He's so tight. Let me just rewatch this one more time in full speed. The announcer is killing it, dude. She's so good. I like how they start off every trailer with a new move that a character has. Oh yeah, Lars is going to be a killer in Tekken 8. Like I said, it's too early to tell. We're just looking at gameplay trailers, but dang. The stage looks really good, by the way. The one with the stage hazard. You might be able to get more creative out of his stances in this game too as well. With the heat system in place. Oh yeah, 100%. So good, dude. Dang. Anyway, that was my reaction for Lars Tekken 8 gameplay trailer. I'm liking what I saw. Let me know what y'all think. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe out there. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video.